Earth's poles are undergoing simultaneous freakish extreme heat with parts of Antarctica more than 70 degrees warmer than average and areas of the Arctic more than 50 degrees warmer than average. Weather stations in Antarctica shattered records Friday as the region near Dottum. The two-mile-high Concordia station was at 10 degrees, which is about 70 degrees warmer than average, while the even higher Vistok station hit a shade above zero degrees, beating its all-time record by about 27 degrees, according to a tweet from extreme weather record tracker Maximiliano Herrera. The coastal Terranova base was far above freezing at 44. 6 degrees. It caught officials at the National Snow and Ice Data Center in Boulder, Colorado, by surprise because they were paying attention to the Arctic, where it was 50 degrees warmer than average and areas around the North Pole were nearing or at the melting point, which is really unusual for mid-March, said. You don't see the North and the South, Poles, both melting at the same time, Meyer told the Associated Press on Friday evening. It's definitely an unusual occurrence. It's pretty stunning, Meyer added. Wow! I have never seen anything like this in the Antarctic, said University of Colorado ice scientist Ted Scampos, who returned recently from an expedition to the continent. Not a good sign when you see that sort of thing happen, said University of Wisconsin meteorologist Matthew Lodzero. Lodzero monitors temperatures at East Antarctica's Dome C2 and logged 14 degrees Friday, where the normal is minus 45 degrees, that's a temperature that you should see in January, not March. January is summer there. That's dramatic. Both Lodzero and Meyer said what happened in Antarctica is probably just a random weather event, not a sign of climate change. But if it happens again or repeatedly then it might be something to worry about and part of global warming, they said. The Antarctic warm spell was first reported by the Washington Post. The Antarctic continent as a whole Friday was about 8. 6 degrees warmer than a baseline temperature between 1979 and 2000, according to the University of Maine's Climate Analyzer, based on U.S. National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration weather models, 